morning, everybody. My name is Yu Liao, and I hope that everybody can see me right now. I will hold this presentation about introducing the technology trends in the battery storage and solutions based on the Germany market. Um, short words from my personal, I was graduated from KIT in Karlsruhe. Um, and, I, and then I have worked by Siemens and 50 Hz transmission in Berlin um, um, in my, during my study and also my working experience. I have many years um, projects with the renewables integration and the renewables energy trading and so on. And then after that, I have worked by FESS for the strategy and the technology innovation in this area. And based on also the energy market to integrate the storages. Therefore, I will introduce you at first the beginning with the um, how to say historic historic data. What we have already have uh, many overviews today today mo morning. This is the first slide since 1991 about the primary energy consumptions. And we can see now we have more than 60% renewables energy. And uh, last year, 2020, because of the Corona pandemic, uh, we have limited the energy consumption, but uh, anyhow, the percentage of the renewables is increasing. And we can see here in this uh, slide, uh, the power generation side since 2010, it's of course, um, I think 18 years ago, at that time when I have already studied in the, in the campus of the Karlsruhe, we, we, we don't believe that 2020 we can achieve the goal 35% of the renewables in the generation. But now you can see, uh, even in the 2018, we have already uh, achieved this goal, 20, uh, 35. And now we have uh, for 46 about this percentage based on the BDEV, um, the associations, the, the data. And uh, of course, more than 45% 40, is already very huge data. And uh, if we research on the renewable mix, for example, in 2020, the wind is nearly 20% and, uh, <clears throat> and the solar is 90.4%. 90, 90 but based at based on 23.8 percentage installed, installed energy capacities. That means uh, the producing the producers of solar, we need more and more to improve the generated the energy. This is actually also the use of the storage, is why we have to use the storage because now we have installed more. For example, you used to about 25% wind, but you can get 90%, 20% the wind generations. But for 24% solar, you have only 90.4% the generation of the solar side. Therefore, if we have more and more storage, this cost, we can increase this number. And uh, of course, you can see also for the charge stations for because of the renewable cars, e-cars. And uh, ten years ago, we have only less of the large station uh, charge stations and not charging points. And now we have in the West Germany and also in near from Berlin, Frankfurt, uh, Munich, Stuttgart, the the big cities. We have and more and more uh, infrastructure about the electric electrical car for the charge. This is also the next trend, <coughs> trend I think. If we have more and more um, e-cars, that means we have more and more dynamic like the loading. And also they can also be treated as a generation side if you have the back to uh, from X to, uh, to grid its functions. And for that, we, we need also more and more storage. We need flexibility of the for the city utilities. We need more flexibility also, for example, in Germany, we have now redispatch redispatch 2.0. That means for the DSOs, distribution network operators, they need more and more the possibility to change uh, the downstreaming uh, overloading, downstreaming um, for the for the for the for the for the energy controlling. 
and also they need more and more support from storage and also from the ECA side. And uh, for the renewables, for the past 20 years, we can see actually uh, since 2010, the last 10 years, we have more and more here uh, the solar and in the yellow color. And the, the biomass, uh, bio is of course uh, always uh, increasing. Uh, next, uh, the last uh, four or five years, is keeps, it keeps stable. And uh, don't forget, we have uh, Again, because of the new EEG 2021, uh, 2030, we should achieve to go 65, and for the 2050, is 80%. Now, of course, we are above this design, but uh, we have to, to know always if we keep the the, the, the goal as 2030, 65, we need and more and more storages and also from more and more solar in the, in the generation side and uh, the goal for the goal the <coughs> targets for the for the energy transition is actually also to reduce the co2 emissions so if we research on the price of the co2 you can see since these two years from 2019 it's already we have uh, more than 20 oil per ton about CO, CO2 certifications emission. And uh, of course, in next years, and year 2030, we need to reduce nearly 40% 40, 40 of the CO2 emission. This is also a very huge <coughs> responsibility for that. And uh, compared to the increasing of the CO2 emission price, uh, don't forget now in the householding in Germany, they have to be we have to pay more than 30 euro cent for example in 2020 uh, we need to be about 21.01 as after the new <coughs> tax this is already very expensive price for the householdings and uh, who will undertake the whole energy transition cost this is also the big challenge for the whole systems uh, not only Germany, but also the whole Europe. You can see the whole Europe reached reached already the new record, thirty eight point two last year, twenty twenty. And why I put this slide here because this is actually very important for the <coughs> for the very important continent. In the whole Europe now we are already past passing the changing point. That means. Between the Vosier, between the coal-fired power plants and the renewables, we already achieved the change points in 2020. That means the percentage 38.2 is already higher than the fossil fuels coal-fired power plants. That means this is new, really a new era for the renewables. It's already um, in very big role for that. Not only uh, the, the second or the third biggest role for the energy generations. And after that, in the year 2030, we can believe that we can have more and more percentages. Uh, not only Germany, but also in Denmark and uh, also in Austria and uh, <clears throat> many countries, they already have a very ambitious planning for the renewables. This is actually the background first. So about the battery storage trends here, you can see the overview um, about the whole use of the uh, storages. Um, on the other hand, we have to say that not only the battery storage was a pump and, and, and the other for the fuel cell and the other kinds of storages, they are used in different case. And for example, now and more and more people pay, they are pay, pay attention, pay, they pay attention to the, for the black, Black start after blackout. For example, the, this winter, the problem, the crisis in the Texas in the United States, they have very uh, strange and very extreme the weather. Therefore, many generators uh, qualified they are frozen, and the, even the wind park. How can they get back from the energy from the energy supply? Uh, you can use only 
and these are can only use some of the BV and also stories to recover your consumptions. This is very important for the generation side. This is also more and more power supply competitors. They will buy storage. They use also not only not only on the grid side for the storage, but also but not only on the grid side and the customer side, but also for the generation side. This is very important. And I believe after this change part, if we have more and more renewables for the traditional power plants, they they could be it could be happened they were buy some storage for them to take part in for the frequency control market and so on and on the other side we can see the the left picture here on this side um, after 2018 since these two years we have already more and more in the home side storage and of course also for the industry side that's just very important for the large scale Storage in the centralized storage part uh, is, of course, is still increasing, but what's more increasing, much more higher increasing rate is, of course, located on the uh, home side and also for the industry side. That means more and more customers, the industry side, folks like like Apple, like 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 Amazon, they make also green white paper, green paper and to analyze the energy consumption for themselves. And the more and more they buy, not only the storage, they buy the wind park, they buy the PV park, and they they have to keep the zero zero to noise. This is of course the, the responsibility for them. Therefore, more and more uh, industry customer, they can be the customer also for the storage side, and uh, the cost of the uh, producing is often of reduced. We can see now we are about the one hundred dollar euro in this per kilowatt hour, and twenty thirty it should be half. This means we 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 have to recognize this trend. And of course the battery storage and the mini grid. This is not a micro grid. This is even only hundred kVs uh, level. The mini grid for. For the off-grid supply, for the fact in Africa and also in some islands, this is very popular. The mini grids and the battery working together with PV and together to, to supply the power. So the logic of the whole storage is storage. You can see here the overview, the different uses for the for the for the RPO service and also for the customer service sites and uh, more and more customers they. They, 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 they use for not only in the centralized storage side, but also in the distribution for the distribution network. That means based on the new policy of the redispatch to, I think in Germany, we need more and more in the, in the downstream side. This is very important, the new things. Clouding, the data after the storage is called, uh, we, many people, for example, the Tesla, they, say, they said that the, the software can define energy. We are only in the beginning, beginning story size. Uh, we, Alpha, we have already connected all of our storage is worldwide and we analyzed from day to day the data and also use them to take part in the different energy markets to help our customers to analyze the the data, the energy usage of the of the customers. We have the portrait of the customers. We analyze the program and also the habit of the customers. And uh, the next story, the technology trends is here. Of course, the virtual power plants. We know all that the, for example, the share bought the the next crop uh, next crop back in Germany and uh, the future size of the VPP will increase to twenty three gigawatts. In 10 years this is very huge numbers we have to know, recognize that that's need more and more storage is not only from the home side but also in the industry i will think large scale and the grid size should be um, keep the stable uh, increase in rates and uh, for the industry and also the home householding customers they need more numbers so last but not least um, for the answer of the future, we, for the storage, we have to recognize the problem is not we have or yes or no, but when and where and also in what kind of that, how how huge and how often they use that. This is very important for the topic. And uh, if we have more solar and more renewables, of course, we need more storage in the side. This is also the responsibility for us, for our our for ESS, we need to 2030 to make the green energy solution for the whole world. And we hope 
we can share our information and also experience to the partner and our customers. And of course, uh, during the day, today, the different presentations, we can have an overview and a very good future in the next years for the renewables. Thank you very much. Thank you for the moderator.